It's getting more and more interesting, um, the political space in Nigeria and so many other things. And it's very heartwarming that even the young ones are so involved in politics right now. I hear there was, okay, let me not say I hear, but I saw a photograph of someone who went and climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in order to foist a flag <laughs> of a particular uh, political party. Let me not mention the name, but it, it, I, I, in fact, I don't know whether I would say I was impressed, but it shows some kind of determination. It shows mm. some kind of uh, positive rebellion because it's not every rebellion that will be negative. Mm. A positive one that, okay, if we are not satisfied with what is happening right now, we will show the world that we too can can make a difference. And he climbed Kilimanjaro <laughs> to put a flag. You know, <laughs> I wonder. Yes, that's very, very unusual. Very, very. And, and, and very interesting. Uh, that's the tallest mountain in Africa, mm. Mount Kilimanjaro, I think followed by Mount Kenya, and then uh, followed by Mount Cameroon. So to go to the topmost, mm. to the height of the tallest <laughs> mountain in Africa to plant the flag of a political party is a statement, is a, very, is a definitive statement mm. and an unusual way of drawing attention, obviously global attention, because yes. people who go, Mount Kilimanjaro is in Arusha in Tanzania, so people who go on that are usually tourists, and I'm sure they will have been wondering what type yeah. of flag that was, yeah, yeah. you know, and they will have engaged with him to ask why he did that. Mm -hmm. So he will have explained. And these people will have gone back to their different countries. Yes. Okay. Maybe saying something about this young person when they, when they got back, this Nigerian who, who came there. So it's actually very instructive as well. Um, and uh, I'm impressed with that. Um, I think also that the, I mean, when we're talking to Mr. Sonia Olu, we had asked if he thought that the political parties, the established ones, are actually acknowledging what is happening, mm -hmm. you know. And I think, uh, for me, I, 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 I suspect that they are not. Uh, I think they are still either being deliberately dismissive of it in order, in order to show that there's no political capital, mm -hmm. you know, in, uh, on the and side the of those, media. exactly. But, but then, if you look in the social media space, the truth is that it's what these young people have been doing. They are basically setting the agenda. Yeah. Because, you see, there was a time, there was a general talk about physical fitness. Mm. And then we suddenly saw some, some presidential <laughs> candidates. Nigeria became a gym. Exactly. Everybody, yes. everybody, you know. And then when they, were told, when they were being told that they didn't translate into numbers on the ground, mm. we started seeing the rallies. Yeah. You see? And now, even the older parties also now started doing their own rallies. Mm. So, so in, in some ways, from what I have observed, the younger generation, they are actually the ones setting the agenda. Mm. You know, it's the media who should be setting the agenda in any country. Mm. But now we are having the young people, as far as 2023 elections are concerned, actually setting the agenda. They have the social media. Yes. So, traditional media, <laughs> social media... There's that fight. And, and they even set the agenda for the traditional media. Yeah. <laughs> More or less. Because it's what they're doing, we report now. Exactly. So exactly. It's, setting it's the instructive, it's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. And I think it's positive as well. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see if we have um, the third guest, guest uh, online. Uh, his name is Young Bone. He's a musician, uh, young, vibrant musician staying in Calabar. Uh, so let me not say more about Young Bone. Young Bone, good morning or good afternoon and welcome to the program. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, well, good afternoon, I don't know. Aqua Cross, Cross River, Aqua Bomb could have been like uh, the Jamaica of Nigeria because of. Did we lose the call again? Can you hear me, Young Bone? Okay, okay. Uh, Cross River and Aquaibom could have been like the Jamaica of Nigeria. Uh, but um, uh, for some years, some people say, uh, in spite of the fact that there are so many talents in Cross River and Aquaibom, it is still backward in the entertainment industry. Now, would you still say that is how 
cross river state entertainment industry can be described nowadays because this description is more than 10 years uh, ago can cross river and aquabom still be described as entertainment backward if i may say no oh no no cross river and aquabom we are no more backward in the entertainment world because um lately we have we have um uh, great musical exports from this part of Nigeria, and then we are doing great. So if you see, we we still have Iyanya in the trend, and is Crossover and Aqua Boom, and then we still we have other people like MC Mbakara. He's doing well online. You know, he's into skits making. He's a comedian, and it's Crossover and Aqua Boom. So I don't think we are still backwards in the entertainment industry. So you don't need to come to Lagos to blow anymore. <laughs> is, that is, is that what it is? We all know that everybody, everybody in Nigeria, in Africa knows that, okay, Lagos is like, you know, Lagos is the center for excellence. Mm. And so if whatever craft, whatever you're doing, we just, we still believe that Lagos is still the top notch place for every entertainer to go and really sell himself because the, the business mogul, our show business moguls are there. So we can, we should go there just to meet them uh, face to face and then all the uh, the uh, the houses the media houses are also there the ones we need to go global are always there so we, we still need lagos but it doesn't mean that we cannot blow from anywhere uh, timaya blew from port harcourt uh, even Inyaya blew from calabar so today everybody has to go to lagos so we, lagos is center for excellence we go there to excel okay. uh, what what would you what would you how would you describe your brand of music and and what are your influences? Why do you play this brand of music? What has influenced you? Okay, I I am an Afro hip hop artist. Yes, I'm an Afro hip hop artist. And um, if if you ask people from the streets, they'll say, okay, Young Bone is actually a street hip hop artist. Because I, I, I make music for the commoners, the layman. I make music for everybody who can just easily relate to the happenings around them. So I am just a, 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 a trenches kid. We use more <laughs> trenches now yeah, to, to, to define where we come from. So I am from the streets and I do music for the people, the laymen. So I feel like music for the Afro hip hop I'm into has actually affected my people because they easily understand the kind of music I make. I make music like I use slogans, like Body Go Tell You. I use slogans like Day Day the Wait. These are slogans that are on the streets already. So mm -hmm. if you use them in the song, a person might just easily just understand and say, Ah, okay, ah, Day Day the Wait now. Nah. Ah, your body go tell you. Uh, and then the rushers and things like that. So I feel like our slogans have actually really affected us and helped us to in the music industry. How long have you been in the music in industry? Okay, professionally, I'd say I am six years into the music industry professionally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, one, one major observation that I have made uh, in the current generation of artists that we have is that many of them are well educated. If you look yeah. at if you look at the fathers, if I use that expression, I don't want to mention their names, but the fathers who have also excelled with absolute due respect to them. But in their time, they were always quarreling, you know, there wasn't much unity, yeah. right? But some people yeah. have said probably it's because today we have artists who are educated uh, and there's more collaboration. There's more un they don't see themselves as threats. Rather, they see themselves as uh, being there to complement one another. Yeah. Yes. So what yeah. would be your reaction? Do you think the education that they have is a critical factor in that transformation? You know, uh, how do you respond to that? Yeah, I, yeah. education is... Edu education is something that helps everybody in all realm of life. Um, it's like education to me is not um, civilization, but education is knowledge impartation. Yeah, but for the music industry, 
back in the day, uh, legends like, like Fela, all those people, uh, Majek Fashek, all those people, yeah, that I, they used to make music that um, I think it is because they too were educated mm -hmm. and then they made music that stood the test of time. That's why we still play their songs yeah. to date. Yeah. And then, but for now, now, I, um, they, I feel like majority of our youth nowadays, they just believe that if, if you check the streets, lately you hear um, um, uh, a school now scam and the rest, all those, <laughs> all those sayings on the streets. But, but, but some people, some of us do not agree with that. Mm -hmm. There are people who have the privilege to go to school and some people do not. Mm -hmm. Some of the musicians that you see today make music from their latent attribute, that's the talent God gave them. Some of them are privileged to be in school. And some of them uh, ha uh, are privileged to have peers that are educated. Mm -hmm. So they get to know these things that they know, and the life, life itself teaches them everything. Life <laughs> itself educates them, and yeah. then teaches them things to know, and uh, things to say in their songs. So I feel like education is, has, has its own part to play. In the mu in music making because if you do not if you are not well educated even to say that said that said just because I know finish school is we we, we see him on screens get bagging awards um, honorary awards and and doctorate awards and the rest and the rest because he went he fell back to school he went back to school so I don't think anybody will say um, school now scam and then you want to be a very very successful musician. Mm. Okay. So I feel like education is is one of the major keys to a successful music career. Yeah, we have talked about education. It's unfortunate I couldn't lay my hands on a video of your song, but I'm sure on Plus TV, we'll, as much as these videos that we have, we'll be using them to play. I particularly liked the song uh, a long time ago you sang about Nigerian beauty. I will never get that song out of my head. If you have a video, we'll have to see to that, where you described the women from all parts of Nigeria and, yeah. you know, really exalted them, praised them for what they are and what kind of things that they can do. But yeah. having yeah. spoken about your music, 2023 is coming. The elections yes. will happen. You have a massive followership. What are you doing about 2023 to make sure the outcome is what Nigerians will like? What is your level of participation, whether now or in the future, leading to 2023? Briefly now. Okay, just like, just like we have all these um, comedians, um, actors and skit makers doing their own part. I think musicians are doing their own part too. I saw a comedian, a skit maker, um, um, ranting. I wouldn't say ranting, but ranting is just a word to use right now on social media saying that um, we skid, Davido, uh, during the Lekki Toget uh, time, they came out, said their, their beat, and then did one or two things. Now they are not even making songs. For me right now, I am. Um, there is a song I did when I was small. I did it with my brother, but I think I want to redo the song. I talked about democracy, and the song was Idonte. So I am trying to revamp. I'm trying to revamp that song because I have to put something out. Because I feel like every youth need to know the importance. Every youth has a part to play in politics. Mm, yeah. So I feel like if 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 you're a youth and then you say you love Nigeria and then this is your country and then you want to be successful in Nigeria, you have to be part of the whole political uh, waka. Uh, <laughs> you get so I, I think me I. I have a sound that I'm coming out with, and it's titled Idonte. When it's out, I'm definitely going to reach out to you so that yeah. um, we, we put it out together. It's going to talk about um, the role of the youth to play in politics. Every youth has a role to play in politics. Because if we leave it, if we leave it, we are only going to be uh, ranting. We are only going to be ranting. So we have to do something about it. So me, myself, and my, and my company, we are Say something about, excuse me. Okay, uh, well, young boy, it's like uh, some urgent issues are coming <laughs> up as well. <laughs> but we have taken enough time that we uh, need, and we're hoping that 
your future and ours will, will mingle somewhere in the past so that uh, when you get to the top, you know that Plus TV played a part in your life as well. Well, we congratulate you for what you have done already and what you are going to do, we wish you luck. And we're hoping that what you have put your mind to do to make sure 2023 is a success, you will do it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. This Thank you morning. very much, Plus TV. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my listeners and everybody. God bless. Okay, well, um, tomorrow we should be able to bring you a song because he talked about a collaboration that other musicians have been doing. Mm. There's, a, there's a collaboration that has like uh, 10 musicians. Mm -hmm. I remember Two-Face was there, Timmy Dacolo was there, uh, Simi was there, um, the Fuji Master was there. I can there were so many of them, and they started good singing. Yes, they started time. singing and they, telling the people. They're not campaigning for anybody, but they were telling people it is important that we don't sell our votes mm -hmm. and then that we come out to vote and do everything. Tomorrow, we promise you, we're going to bring that song mm -hmm. to you. Great. Until we meet again tomorrow, mm -hmm. my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Have a lovely week. And I'm Bayolo Ake. Okay, enjoy the rest of the day and be safe.